Our next inductee developed protocols for the ARPANET, initiated the request for comment series. Please give it up for Steve Crocker. So Vint uh, talked about the secrets um, of what really drove us on the, uh, on the early network. Left out one small detail. We were uh, part of a small group at UCLA in the uh, quite positive and, and uh, open environment uh, under Len Kleinrock in an environment that was sponsored by uh, Larry Roberts and uh, sort of a very generous uh, environment. And uh, we had to choose a name for the operating system for our network. <laughs> We ticked various things. We had a Sigma 7 with Sigma 7 executives, seven executives, just sex. <laughs> First host on the ARPANET, we put sex on the internet. <laughs> it's documented. We were younger then, that's what we, we were so much younger then, yes, in, in, indeed. And not content with that, we had a sign on the door that said when sex was available. We had a sex users group, we had a sex users manual, we had the whole, the whole thing. Um, there's a theme besides the sex uh, that has marbled through all of this. Um, yes, there were bits and bandwidth and uh, all kinds of calculations and system designs and so forth. Um, and we were all you know, fairly technical and all of this was very exciting. But it was instantly clear from the very beginning that there was an overlay on top of all of this, which was the human component. And one of our early slogans was, networks bring people together. And so in rooms much, much smaller than this, with collections of people that fit in half of one row here, uh, we sat around the table and tried to imagine what would happen. And I'll interrupt for a second and say, and I get asked, as many of us do, so uh, um, did you understand? Could you see, you know, how much of what's happening now could you envision? Uh, and then I said, so my standard answer is, well, Everything's happening exactly on schedule, right? <laughs> um, but more seriously, the, um, uh, it, it's what we couldn't see and, and, and most importantly, what we knew we couldn't see. And it was that knowledge that we could not tell everything uh, was gonna happen. And therefore, it was absolutely essential to leave room for the next generation and the next generation and the next generation of people and processes and everything. So we designed um, the, both the architecture and the processes surrounding the architecture, the social processes, to be open as opposed to closed. Open architecture, thin layers that were there as a helpmate if you needed them and you could go around them if you wanted to build something else. So that was the technical side. And open publication of design notes that we tried not to take too seriously, um, and hence the, the uh, little linguistic device of calling them requests for comments, um, and deliberately making them available absolutely for free around the world, anytime, anybody, and the processes by which people could contribute to that. Uh, anybody could contribute, no restrictions, and that, has, that tradition has uh, progressed uh, essentially unbroken for the entire 40 plus year period. And we now have the Internet Engineering Task Force try to find what the emission criteria is, try to find what the enfranchisement criteria is. And it's, it's hard to understand. There's no voting, there's no membership, there's no fees. Uh, you gotta pay for the cookies when you come. Um, <laughs> but it's completely open in 94, I made uh, my first trip to India and I, was, um, I gave a talk at the Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore and I was uh, introduced to a graduate student who was building some interesting software. And he told me all about it and it was indeed a fairly complex project. And I was impressed that he was able to put together so much technology and I said, well, how did you do that? He said, well, I just read the RFCs. I downloaded them, read them and implemented them. And uh, it, 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 it really uh, choked me up as it's doing a little bit now. It's, the, it's, it's that process which we were just frankly fortunate to be at the right place at the right time. And uh, uh, it's, it's been one hell of a ride. Thank you. Thank you.